Have you ever wanted to build your own app, launch it in the App Store, except you don't know the first thing about code? Well, if so, you're going to love this interview with Bravo Studio. We're going to be sitting down with the founders of Bravo Studio and learning about how their tool can help you do this very thing, launch your own app and publish it in either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. The best part about this, of course, is that Airtable can be your back end. So this allows you to be a non-coder who can build an app and just publish it then and there with Bravo Studio acting as your front end for mobile app device. But before we get into the interview, do know that this is an edited version condensed down for YouTube. If you want to check out the full unedited version, I welcome you to join us in our Airtable Mastermind group. It's a paid membership of pro users who get together and help each other scale up. If you have questions and you're always hitting roadblocks in Airtable, this might be a great way for you to level up and continue to move forward. And you also get unlimited access to all of our different interviews, the full length interviews. So if that's of interest, check the link below, garethpronovost.com slash Airtable dash mastermind. But without further ado, let's get right into that interview. Hello, I'm here with Toby Oliver. You're the creator of Bravo Studio, and I'm so excited to get to know you today. It's very um, nice to be here. Wonderful. And I'm super excited. This is like a new realm of apps for me that I've yet to dive into. Um, so you, you can create your own app using other design tools. Is that the concept? Yeah, so, so really where Bravo came from was to help people be as, get as much flexibility, flexibility as possible in their design. So there's a, lot, a bunch of no-code tools out there that help people connect data to sort of standard templates, but often you're kind of limited to like what the, the design functionality they provide. What we want to do is act as a bridge from data to whatever crazy designs you come up with. And so we work with both Figma and Adobe XD. So you can kind of create your crazy designer in those tools and then use Bravo to connect it to uh, data in Airtable to actually provide you know, the sort of functionality and, and the data store. So you can get whatever design you want working with your data. That is so exciting. It really kind of feels like the next step towards making uh, like the ability for the everyday person to pick up technology and build something with it and i'm so intrigued yeah i mean uh, we always uh, i mean uh, uh, i used to be the cto typeform for a few years and you know typeform was all about making design uh, easy for everybody so you could get sort of beautiful data collection going on and i felt really when i was there that there's uh, an opportunity to kind of do more than that. You know, you could do more than just data collection. By, by being a kind of front end to APIs and, and data, you can create all sorts of functionality and let people you know, get their job done without having to go learn a whole bunch of crazy tools. And really for us, mobile apps are kind of the worst thing to develop in. They're super hard. You've got to do Android and iOS, they're very different. Uh, you know, it's it's not an easy thing. Web is getting easier and easier with tools like Webflow and Squarespace and Wix, but mobile app development is hard. Uh, there's a few tools coming out now, but no one was really helping make the create really awesome designs like Typhoon did. So that's kind of what we wanted to try and do. Excellent. So that's kind of where you, you, you started with um, the design first to allow people to like get their creative vision out right before like building behind it. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, the way we saw it is that there were so many great tools doing the sort of functionality part and data storage like their table. You know, we, there wasn't much point with sort of repeating that. We thought, let's just connect to that. Uh, the piece where people didn't have a lot of options was in that actually the design part of the application. And you can kind of prototype and you can do the design, but that sort of step going from the, the prototype of the design to something that works, that's, there's a gap there, right? It's difficult to do. Uh, and that's what we want to help with. You know, we so we say we try to defocus from doing the repeating. I mean, it's really hard to make a tool better than Airtable for storing data easily, right? I mean, it's so good. So we thought let's just work with that and, and do the other bits that, that aren't out there right now. That's so exciting. And, and have you seen like really cool use cases out of this so far? I can imagine. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things that the more functionality we turn on, the more crazy things people come up with. And, you know, and people really push the boundaries of what's possible. You know, the things that we didn't think 
uh, we're doable. I mean, so one of the things we allow in, in Bravo is um, uh, web views, and somebody's built a Shopify store, an e-commerce platform on Bravo using web views, and which was which was not something we thought you could do. Uh, but you know, I mean, we've seen so many apps, people doing things for their uh, school, for their small businesses, for you know, it, it departments and companies. You know. It, it, it was crazy. I mean, the thing about apps is everybody would like an app for a specific purpose. And I think that's, it's been really hard to do, uh, you know, historically, you can kind of do web apps, but they don't really work very well uh, all, all the time. Uh, but having a, an app that's customized exactly to what you want or to your group of people, uh, it's a really powerful thing to have. So, you know, we're just seeing more and more user cases across the board. I'm going to share with you uh, my uh, screen. So hopefully you can see this is a Figma screen. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. So I don't know if you've used Figma before, but Figma is a, is a great design tool. It's completely web-based, um, which is uh, unusual. Most of the others are more applications uh, and it's an amazing product for it, to be honest. But what Figma lets you do is do all the designs that you would do as a sort of designer. You know, normally a designer would come in and say, right, uh, this is all the screens I'm going to have in my application. You know, you actually, with the sort of prototyping functionality, what you do is you also say the, how the navigation works. You'd say, okay, if I click on here, it goes down to here and back again. So you can have the full navigation of the application all laid out and designed. And this is often what a designer would do when you when you ask him to, to, to you know, do an app how you want it to look. Okay, so this is kind of how it, how it would be. Um, now, once you've got the design laid out and you're happy with it, what you do is you take the URL, uh, you then go to Bravo. Let me just drop Bravo here. Um, and then you say, okay, let's just, let's just bring this into Bravo. And then what we, we're doing here is we're bringing in all of the assets, the images, the navigation, the screens, and converting it into our own internal format that we can publish as an application. So, and, and at this point here, we've got enough information to publish as an application. So if I went to publish, I could generate an Android and iOS application that I could put into an app store or actually install on my phone. So this is, we have a, what we call the Bravo Vision. It's kind of the previewer for, for um, applications you've you brought into Bravo. Let me just update. Is my update this? You should see, there it is. There's the app that I just brought in a second ago. So I can click on that. And this is now the application that I've just, I've created from Figma. For some design, I have an application. You can see there's a live video running. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of pages, I can go to different pages. Um, I can, but what's really fun, I mean, so really I'm not doing anything complex. This is surely from design. I can even do stuff like this. So this is a web view as you saw, but you can you can do crazy things like a, this is a 3D, 360 degree image viewer. So you can actually create some fairly complex app, sort of app, um, functionality within the application um, without having to, you know, do any complexity at all. You can just do this through through different um, web views. Um, so, and this is all driven from that from that design. Um, really, where it gets super interesting, uh, because that's just based off the, the static design. Where it gets interesting is where you connect it to data. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we can do is we can actually connect it to um, uh, you know external data sources like Airtable. In fact, we've actually built uh, a dedicated wizard. To connect to our table, so uh, what you can do is you click on that, you put in the share the base share key or share link and your API key, and that will actually go through and build all the API connections that you can then connect the data into your design. So the design becomes dynamic based on the contents. So here, um, these all these uh, these APIs have all been generated automatically from our table. So when I send the request all the data comes in. And what I can do is I can, I can select the information that I want mm -hmm. and then I can then make that available in the actual project itself. So if I go back to my projects and let's pick out one of these. So here, if, if you can see, I've got an adventure. It's only got an activity name and that's one box. But what happens is when I connect that to an API, so I can say the image to come from the image but in, from the API. So all, as you can see, these are kind of standard uh, um, Airtable fields. I can pull the image from Airtable, I can put into the name for each of the, 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 the different rows in Airtable. And so then when I actually, I can, I can jump back to my application and I can actually see uh, this application completely be generated based on the data in Airtable. 
Uh, so you can ha have your own, not only does it pull data, but I can actually post data back as well. So I can make a fully interactive application by hooking in Airtable to uh, the design using Bravo. That is so exciting. That was going to be my, my next question was, is it in interactive and transactional in a yeah. way? It, it can be. I mean, I would say the interaction, so it, it's really easy. The wizard helps you pull data from our table. Um, you have to, obviously, when you start posting data back to our table, it becomes a little bit more complex. So that you have to build those um, because they're, you know, it doesn't know exactly what you want to do with the data. So you have to build those, but absolutely. I mean, it's, once you get the hang of it, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty straightforward and you can do some pretty amazing things. So this is an Instagram kind of clone where people have put their, posted their pictures. This is a food. But what I can do, just to show you, uh, this is using um, Airtable as a back end. So I can take a picture. So I'm going to take a picture of my mouse on my, my computer. So you can see that. There you go, it's my mouse. Um, uh, and there's the image. It's being uploaded to the system now. That's the one I want. It's being uploaded. Now I'm just going to call that mouse and upload. And there it goes. So that's being pushed up to Airtable and then we're refreshing and pulling the data down. And there it is. And there we have another part of our uh, image feed using Airtable as the back end. Wow. That is so cool. It's pretty, it's, I mean, I think what's, a, what's crazy is the amazing things that our users have created. I mean, uh, we, we, we can't put in the sort of building blocks and then they go crazy with it, which is, which is, I love to see that the sort of stuff that people come up with for us. One of the best stories we had was a guy who wanted to build a, um, a mobile application to prove a concept he had, um, and he was being off the chart. He was being people were saying to him, "It's going to cost you know ten thousand dollars to build this mobile application just to prove his idea," and, and we did it in like uh, two days. I mean, ten thousand dollars in four weeks. We did it in two days um, from a, from a simple design he had. Um, and it was a fully functional one. So he was able to test his idea. And that's really the power of Bravo. I mean, you can really test things um, incredibly fast and, and, and check ideas out. And, you know, sometimes you can actually, you don't need to go, you don't need to build it after that. You can test it and just use what Bravo creates because it's a fully working application. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's pretty fun. Absolutely. I'm so impressed. And I, I can see, that this could really just continue to like snowball into like full fledged, like anybody can pick it up, make an app, publish it, all done. Like, I just think that's amazing. Well, hopefully, hopefully other, lots of everyone else thinks that too. <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're here to do. Excellent. Well, Toby, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. Uh, yeah, and when you when you build your app, let us know if you have any problems, and we'll try and help you out. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay. Great, okay. great to talk to you. Absolutely, you as well. And where can our listeners go to learn more about Bravo Studio? So uh, the website is www.bravostudio.app, uh, and there's a whole ton of resources there about people, um, how you go about building Bravo. There's links to, we have a ton of um, YouTube videos and tutorials to really show you what's possible and how you go about building things, uh, as well as having some examples of what people have built. So that's the place to really uh, learn, start learning about Bravo. All right, wonderful. We'll make sure that link is in the description and thank you so much for your time. No problem, thanks to you. Thank you. All right, well, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you got a ton of value from it. And if you're curious, do go and check out Bravo Studio. They've built an incredible tool that lets us do amazing new things. I'm excited to check it out myself. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those below in the chat, and I will see you in the next video. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.